Tane bro, I have a problem. Okay? As you know, Avalon, we've been hiring developers, software developers, and other people, other roles as well. But we've been having a very specific problem. Kiar, people just ask for ridiculous salaries. Right. And I think one very toxic trait that's developed in this industry, and I know you're a developer, so whatever you say, you have to be measured and careful because the industry is looking at you. Dude, one toxic trait that's developed, people join a company, work there for three months, get paid X, then realize the best way to get a big jump in their salary is to switch companies. Right. Because obviously promotions happen at the end of the year, you get 10% increment. Right. But if you jump, right. you get 30% increment. Right. And right now there's a madness, man. Everybody right. is like throwing money at developers. Right. So I've seen people switching jobs every three months. Right. I don't hire such people. If you switch like three jobs in the last two years, I don't take your resume seriously. Neither does my dev team, right? Because right. we want stability. We want people who can contribute over the years. Right, right. Why are people doing this? I understand the money. I understand this is the most toxic hack right now. Just keep switching companies. First company to second company, 30%. Second company, third company, another 30%. Right, and right. pretty soon you can have a sizable package. Why are people doing this? I think first of all, thank you, Varun, for putting me on this tough spot. I have to thank you for this. You're welcome. Yeah. So I think, uh, so I have been talking to a lot of developers around this and my views are unpopular opinion, right? I'm against switching a lot and I'll talk about that. But the question is, why are people doing it? I think it's it's the same, right? Why are why are um, founders raising VC money, yeah. left, right, center, yeah. right? Because money is there in the market, and if money is there in the market, there are two things. First, the ingrained greed, lalach, is there, right? Yeah. It's yeah. it's for future security, future safety. That's there definitely. But the bigger thing here is, and you have to understand this, is peer pressure. All of these developers go and hang out on blind. Go and hang what's out. A, what's Blind? Blind is an app where you get to know everyone's salary and everybody boasts their salary. Hey, I, I interviewed here, I got this much cash and this much stocks and all of it, right? Mm -hmm. So now what happens is every day you start questioning ki bhaiya kya main khush hun? Like earlier this used to happen in an office environment, right? Now it's happening globally. Mm -hmm. And with the world being flat, you are also getting global offers in and people are saying, hey, I'm from India, I'm from this unknown city and I landed a 40 lakh job as a fresher, mm -hmm. as a fresher, right? So obviously everybody would want to have that kind of peer pressure and then they keep switching jobs. So I think that's the why of So is it, is it a, like a self-validation thing that I wanna just feel validated so I need to have as much as the next person? Yes, I mean, as a society, as growing up, we have always been trained to think about what others are having. Sharma ji ka beta kya kar raha hai? Mm -hmm. And we have always valued ourselves into the money which we are making, right? Yeah. So, so identity is tied in with the capital. Yep. Is it going to stop? Is it going to hurt people in the future? Because this is all happening in a very short period of time. See, I feel that uh, that money is just a part of your job. There's more to job, right? There's, there's job satisfaction, there's craftsmanship, there's value in, in creating value, right? So if you keep switching every three months, every four months, you are not creating value anywhere. All you are doing is you are creating value in capital for yourself, not even as a technical person, you are creating value for yourself. Because for, you have to be at one place for a year or two to create value for the company, to create value for your resume for yourself. So you're not accruing uh, value capital for yourself, you're just accruing crash, cash, right? So someday there will be a down. And when the down comes in, you will be left standard because you don't have the kind of value which you should bring at at six years experience five years experience because you were jumping three months three months three months so you are al always doing fresher experience only you're not you're not building complex systems right yeah and you don't have that experience and i feel like personally i feel that's a reputational issue right because see in the beginning of your career you're paid for what you know right your skills right but towards the tail end of your career you're paid for who you know exactly and by the tail end of your career, you made some money, you've hit a ceiling. Obviously, you can't make like a bazillion amount of money, uh, just keep continuously switching because eventually recruiters are going to notice. Right. You hit a ceiling and now you know nobody. Because when you switch every three months, what kind of relationships have you built? Definitely. You, you're burning bridges all everywhere, right? Uh, it's also a problem of like putting the ball on the other end is it's also a problem of people, right? If you know somebody has four offers already, why would you give them a fifth offer or a sixth offer or a seventh offer? So I think founders also should be willingly not giving offers. Like you said, if someone has three months of 
uh, job switching, why, why I wouldn't suggest hiring that person, right? So definitely it should be both sided, but the market is hot. Founders need builders right now, and that's why it's it's just a buyer's market right now. That's that's what's happening. Yeah. No, interesting, man. What's one advice you'd give young developers who are considering switching three jobs throughout the year? Or any any role, right? Forget about developers. Developers, designers, whatever. What was one advice you'd give people who are switching three jobs a year? See, I think making money is not wrong. Make money, I make money, Varun makes money, everyone makes money. Money making is good. It buys you all the comforts of your life. It gives you a good life for your parents, for your future kids, for your future wives. Wives, not sorry, wife. Right? <laughs> yeah. And so do all of that. That's perfectly fine. But at the same time, understand that after five years, 10 years, 20 years of experience, your experience would count for something. And if it's just three months of stints everywhere, you would not be counted as an experienced person. You would be counted as an average hopper. Devil. Hopper, right? So I, I would suggest go ask for whatever money you want. If you get that money, learn to stick with that money. That's okay. Yaar. If someone is earning 10 lakh more, it's fine. You will earn 20 lakh more down the line. So my manager told me this very nice thing, right? I, I was telling, hey, I am getting offers from everywhere. You think I'm at Microsoft, I don't get offers from like all the places. Think how famous I am as a developer as well, right? So I, I get all the offers. So I, I told my manager, hey, uh, this is what I'm getting like 30%, 50%, all of that. So so my manager told me, see, there is there is some value in staying here, working at the scale which you're working at. And then there is money. And that money, Tane, will always chase you. If you change one job, there will be someone to give 30% more. If you change some that job, there will be someone to give 30% more. But do you count everything with just money or not? That's the question. If if that makes you happy, if you if you're a person who is who is all about money, good luck. There's no nothing bad about it. Keep doing it. Own it. Awesome. Cool, Tane. Thanks for jumping on. And you guys too. <laughs>